So for this video, I'll be exploring um, some more scalar by vector identities. Um, I'm going to start by highlighting that u, v, and x here will be variable column vectors. a and b are going to be constant column vectors. And a is going to be a constant matrix. Okay, so the most important identity here is going to be this one. And using this one, we'll try to find all of these. Okay. Um, and what's basically happening here is that we're having a row vector U transpose multiplied by a matrix A, constant matrix A, multiplied by a column vector V. So the product of all these three will in the end give out a scalar one by one matrix. Okay. So for example, if A is M by N, then U transpose has to be one by M and V will be n by 1, so in the end we'll get just a 1 by 1 matrix. Okay, so to symbolically differentiate this, it's basically to uh, make it into this expression right here, which is basically u transpose multiplied by a, multiplied by partial v over partial x, and here partial v over partial x is going to be a matrix, because v is a vector, and here what's happening is vector by vector differentiation. Okay, then a plus sign, v transpose multiplied by a transpose multiplied by partial u over partial x which is also a matrix um but no matter what in the end this whole thing should have dimensions of one by k where um the vector x is let's say having dimensions k by one so if x is have dimensions k by, k by one then this whole thing should be one by k because we're just differentiating scalars, a scalar with respect to a vector. So if the vector is k by, k by one, the result has to be one by k. You can try to do that dimensional analysis on this and this is exactly what you'd get, um, one by k. Okay, so anyway, let us start by finding partial over partial x u transpose v. So this is basically just this, except that a is set to i. So the result is going to be u transpose i partial v over partial x. So u transpose partial v over partial x because i multiplied by this matrix will give out the same matrix. So we don't even have to write it down. And then plus sign. Okay, sorry. Plus sign um, v transpose partial u over partial x. Okay. Um, now, how about partial over partial x a transpose x? So here. Um, u is replaced by a constant column vector and v is replaced by the column vector x. Okay, so um, we'll have a transpose partial x over partial x plus um, x transpose partial a over partial x. So all I did is replace all u with a and all v with x to get this expression. And differentiating the constant column vector with respect to x, which is going to give us a zero matrix. So the result here and this is going to be i. So the result in the end is just a transpose. Okay. Now, how about this one? Okay. Here we look at, the, at this identity. So what we'll do with replace all u with b and all v with x. So B transpose A, um, all V with X, so partial X over partial X, which is just I, then plus V transpose, which is going to be X transpose, A transpose, partial U over partial X is partial B over partial X, and this is zero. Okay, so zero, this in the end gives us B transpose A. Okay, and X transpose X, so basically B is now X, so we'll have um, x transpose a plus x transpose a transpose partial x over partial x, which is x transpose a plus a transpose. And here, if a is symmetric, then this implies a equals a transpose, and this will give us 2x transpose a, okay? Now, how about this? Okay, so this is partial over partial x of partial over partial x transpose 
of x transpose ax okay now one thing we can do with replace these two guys so this transpose um goes from okay sorry goes from here to here and then if we look at this it's gonna be just this right because we've done that here so what we'll get is um partial over partial x transpose of to okay okay we can um, work on the less um the more general case so let me get this back come on yeah and um this case we're gonna be working on x transpose multiplied by a plus a transpose so this is gonna give us i and we're gonna have a plus a transpose in case the matrix is symmetric we'll get 2a Okay, now how about partial over partial x of the square of the magnitude of x? This is just saying partial over partial x of x transpose x, right? And even this u transpose v, this is just u dot v. Here it's um, x dot x, which gives the square of the magnitude of x. So this is going to be just like this one, but all the u's and v's will be swapped for x. So it's going to be x transpose partial x over partial x plus x transpose partial x over partial x. Okay, so you can even look at this. So x, 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 x. And um, this in the end yields in 2x transpose. Okay, how about partial over partial x? a dot u. This is saying partial over partial x. a transpose. Um, yeah, a transpose u. So... Um, all we can do here is replace okay so a dot u is the same as u dot a so we can instead do u transpose a right u transpose a and go here replace all v's with a so this will be zero because partial a or partial x is um, zero and then this when we replace all v all v's with a we get a transpose partial u over partial x and yeah this is all i wanted to show you in this video so i hope you liked it and thank you so much